Hello, welcome to Take 10 on Tuesdays with the Tennessee Tribune. Today our guest is Cynthia St. James, who is an artist, an author, and a lecturer. Am I right? And she's here in Nashville uh, this week in November because she has an exhibit at Tennessee State University. But we're going to backtrack just a little bit and talk about what she's very well known for, and that is designing the very first Kwanzaa stamp. Uh, that was issued in 1997. And Cynthia, can you tell us a little bit about how you came to be the artist for the stamp and uh, how all of that came to be? Well, it was really like a surprise because it was a phone call from the U.S. Postal Service from their designer, one of their designers, that really called me and um, asked me would I be interested in designing uh, the Kwanzaa stamp. So it wasn't a competition, it was nothing like that. Oh, wow. It was, um, for me, it was a total surprise as being a good little New York girl. We don't have our n number listed, so I wondered why they got, how they got my phone number. That was my first question in my mind. Right. How did they get my phone number? Anyway, but what they had found online it was a book cover that I did for another author on Kwanzaa. And from that, they went to the pub book publisher and got my contact information. Oh, I see. So it was really kind of simple um, in a sense. Uh, what they do is they have meetings and, and whatever, and they decide what stamps would the public appreciate. And at that point, they were doing Cinco de Mayo, Hanukkah, and Kwanzaa. Oh, I see. So because it was a it's part the of very a series. first one. Yeah. Oh, it was, oh, so it's part of a series. Yeah. Now, how did, um, it looks like a family mm -hmm. is on the stamp. And when it was issued in 1997, the first one was actually a 32 cent stamp. Right. <laughs> right. So the denomination, I think it went up to 32, 33, 34, and 37. It had a long life. Yeah. So which, which was wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we appreciate it. But how did you, what was your thinking behind the concept for the first Kwanzaa stamp? Well, what was great for me is I already had a book for children that I'd written and illustrated called The Gifts of Kwanzaa. So I based the stamp on one of the paintings that I did in the book. Oh, and I just simplified it because of uh, the fact that it was going to be a stamp, mm -hmm. you know. So you don't have all of the um, symbols of Kwanzaa in there, but you get the gist of it. But in the original painting that I did for the book, you have all everything there. Oh, wonderful! Yeah, okay. and yeah. So that was that made it. Uh, it made it easier. I think it was so great that I had already done a book on Kwanzaa. So it made this an easier yeah. transition. I the see. hardest part was the fact that you could only paint four and a half by five and a half inches. Oh, really? Wow, <laughs> that is that's <laughs> tiny. That is, that's yeah, that's tiny. quite challenging. And still keep in mind that this the the, uh, the thirty two had to go there and the Kwanzaa had to go across it. Right. Right. Well, it, I I remember the stamp well, and this is from my collection of stamps that I have. Um, but I also wanted to talk to you a little bit about. The other thing that you're very well known for is mm -hmm. the book jacket for Waiting to Exhale, a um, book uh, by Tara McMillan, and Waiting to Exhale and also had a very long life and eventually became a movie as well. And how right. did this come to be? Once again, believe it or not, a phone call. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's good. What happened was is that Tara McMillan had purchased a print of the, the name of the painting is Ensemble at Jeff Samuels Gallery in Oakland. And actually, it was part of her art that she had hanging in her house while she was writing the book. Oh. And she was uh, dissatisfied with what the art director fr from the book company had for her. Mm -hmm. And she called Samuel's gallery and talked to Sam and got my phone number and called me directly. Oh, wonderful. And asked me, what could we do to make it happen? Great. <laughs> and, and you made it happen. Yeah, so and then it went international, too, all over the world, yes. and translated in all those different languages, about eight different countries. Wow. Including so, Japan. Including Japan? Yeah. Really? Wow. Yeah. So it's, it's beautiful, and we love it. Mm -hmm. Now, and let's talk a l little bit about why you're here in Nashville now. Uh, you have an exhibit that's going to be at uh, Tennessee State University. Yes. And how was the exhibit put together? And it's traveling okay. as well. well. Well, you know, what's happening for me is, is that I've been really concentrating on wanting to visit and speak and exhibit at historically black colleges and universities. I do other universities as well, but the thing is I've been really concentrating on that. So I've actually sent letters and communications to various universities that I wanted to. Uh, visit. Mm -hmm. So uh, Tennessee State answered me and said, you know, come on. 
Oh, wonderful. <laughs> we figured it out, you know. Okay. We're working with Miss Fiera, and then, you know, we figured it out what would be a good timing and how to make it most beneficial. Now, how did you uh, select the pieces that are in the exhibit? Well, and how I, many pieces are in the there's exhibit? There's 12 pieces. Mm -hmm. I try to keep it so that it's easy for the different universities. It, it actually, that those 12 pieces was, was first at uh, St. Augustine's University in Raleigh. Then it was with Cheney for six weeks. Mm -hmm. And now St. Augustine is where you have a, you're in residence, artist in residence there, or I. That's one of the places where I've had four artists in residence, and I also have a, a fine art institute that uh, that we're still developing, getting the seed money for scholarships for young women who want to uh, major in art. Wonderful. Yeah. Right. Okay. Great. All right. So the twelve pieces in it will be here. Um, for how long? I'm not sure. I'm hoping they keep it up for at least another week or two. Okay. I'm hoping that they did. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll get the dates and make sure that everyone knows okay. about that. Okay. Yeah. But uh, also, one of the other, um, one of your other paintings that intrigued me was a uh, painting of uh, Mandela. Oh yes. And uh, so, how did how did you happen to do that? Because the painting, I think, was also artwork that was presented to him. Yes, and, and you know what I'm thinking? I, I'm pretty sure that's in. Yeah, that's here. Oh, so it's part but of the it's exhibit. Part, they're the uh, re fine art reproduction, very close to what um, he received. Okay. Uh, Africare got in touch with me through a person that I knew working there in development, and uh, said we're getting ready to give uh, Nelson Mandela a lifetime achievement award. How about if you do a painting? I know it's just like short notice, mm -hmm. but to do this painting and then get it uh, reproduced as a G clay on canvas, have it really nicely framed, and then have that nice little uh, at the bottom lifetime achievement. Lifetime yeah. Achievement. So we did it in Washington D.C. Mm -hmm. I went from L.A. to D.C. and his daughter and his grandson received for him. Oh, wonderful! So it was very sweet. Oh, yeah. yeah. Did you get a chance to meet him at all? No, because he okay. wasn't traveling. You yeah. know, it was good. You know, you know it's just about right. two. I'm not even three years ago, oh, about three years ago. So, yeah. yeah, so he had stopped traveling as much for, due to health, mm -hmm. but it was a pleasure to meet his daughter and his grandson. Oh, And yeah, to, to an know honor. that it was going to South Africa. Right. So I felt like I received an honor. Oh, that is wonderful. Yeah, yeah. right. That is great. A um, couple of other things. The Circle of Promise. Um, that you did with the Susan G. Komen. Right. Now, how did, how did that come to be? And tell me, can you describe a little bit what it looks like, just so? Yes. Um, Circle of Promise, what it's about really is that they recruited myself and some other African-American women to be um, ambassadors for the cure for African-American awareness. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm proud that we were, we were able to do that. And then uh, they commissioned me to do a painting that would symbolize the circle of promise. So it's, of course, it has some pink in it. I'm not a fan of pink, so it's more magenta in there. Right. You know, but okay. it's like a circle of all ages of African American women coming to the circle to learn about health care and taking care of themselves. Oh, and it's a, actually a 30 by 40 uh, inch painting. Mm -hmm. um, and they created uh, prints from it, and uh, limited edition prints, and sold it to raise funds for the research. Oh, great. So I do a lot of work with nonprofits that way. Great. No, yeah. I think that's wonderful. Yeah. yeah. And when we unveiled it, we also unveiled it in D.C. at a museum. And what, what year was it unveiled? Oh, you know, in my mind, this, this, this thing is just <laughs> flying. This one had to be at least four years ago. Okay. It was before Mandela piece. Okay. And um, so Gabrielle Union, Layla Hathaway, and myself were the three new ambassadors. So Layla sang, um, mm -hmm. Gabrielle spoke, um, you know, and then I, un well, I unveiled the painting. So right. it was oh. a luncheon, and that was uh, sponsored by the National Chapter of the Lynx. Oh, real? Okay. Yeah, Great. that part of it, right. yeah, the luncheon part of it. Great. Yeah. Okay. And now, um, the other thing that also caught my, there are two other things, actually. Um, you're doing collaborations with Charles Bibbs. Yes. Now, how did that come to be, and, and what is sort of the goal? Or maybe there is a goal. Maybe you well, you know what? It's, it was doing something unique. We've mm -hmm. been uh, very close friends since 1980. Mm -hmm. oh, and he came up with an idea. Um, and, and I said, sure. I said, are you serious? And he, and I, and he said, yes. So I, I did the first painting, Precious. How we do it is, I paint first. I, see. I do a completed painting. Mm -hmm. And I would say what he does, he goes in and embellishes it, and he puts his trademark. His trademark are the hands. He puts f uh, 
facial features, oh, right. and then you know some of his pen and ink, and you know, so it's embellishing right. as well. Okay. Um, and so uh, I, when I finished the first one, he was actually nervous to get started on it. And I had to, I had to talk to him. I said, no, go on, go on." <laughs> I, I actually told him, "Just have a glass of wine and relax and mm -hmm. get started." And just do it. And he, you know, he went on and did it because you don't paint on top of someone else's painting. Right. Nor would I want anybody to paint on top of my painting. Right. But we've done eight. I was about to ask. Yeah, we've we have done, done eight. eight. Oh, we've done wow. eight. Yeah. Oh, that's marvelous. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so we can expect an exhibit of yes your, your joint work. Yes, and he wants to do that. Time. I was talking to him uh, just a few weeks ago, and he still has some of my pieces at home. He could actually easily could be easily twelve. You know, because I've already done my part. Right. So, you know, we could do a calendar and we could do all kinds of things. Oh. And, um, but he's thinking of that in the next year, I think he said 2014 or 2015, mm -hmm. to have an exhibit that featured our collaboration. Oh, that would be wonderful. Yeah. I'd love to see that. Yeah. <laughs> and then the other um, painting that also caught my eye was, uh, let me get it right now, the Obama on Fire. Um, oh, Fire Obama. Rainbow Fire, Obama. Fire Rainbow Obama. Yeah. yeah. Now, did, did you do that? That's in the exhibit, too. Oh, see. <laughs> I'm thinking Great. as we, yeah. yeah. Now, did you do that what, when he I ran did in that, 2000? I did that when he first um, was elected. The first elected, okay. Yeah, and I did it to just show how the entire world celebrated a president. I've, I've never seen the entire world celebrate any uh, American president. The way he was celebrated. No, no, right. no way, not like yeah. that. Yeah. So that's the painting. It's people from all over the world. Um, and. Uh, my uh, play aunt sent me a photograph of a fire rainbow many years ago, which I saved. Oh, wow. And it's beautiful. I mean, mm -hmm. it's a beautiful kind of a rainbow, but definitely different because it looks like a fire. Mm -hmm. And I based it on that because I felt that that was the energy and the promise. Right. Okay. What's over the rainbow. Right. And then not even knowing it later, realized he was, he was Leo. And no idea of fire sign. Oh. I never even had thought about that part. I didn't realize. Yeah, but I thought about that whole change and, you know, what all the possibilities were worldwide. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Okay, so what is next? What, what well, what's next? next? I just finished the painting for YWCA of Greater Los Angeles, a signature piece for them, literally three days ago. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got on the plane and headed to Nashville. Exactly. Okay. I, it's, exactly. Okay. I got it scanned the next day, and mm -hmm. the next morning came to Nashville. Oh, wow. And Now, uh, what, is, what does it feature? Can you tell us a little bit about well, it? Well, you know what? I didn't know myself. Mm -hmm. um, I've worked with the YWCA a lot over the years helping raise funds, and in 97 I received a silver achievement honor. So that was really my first big honor. Right. But I never knew the depth of what they do. Uh, so um, the president of the board, after they were commissioning me to do this piece, took me on a tour and showed me all the things they do with women hotlines 24-7. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that in LA they have a job core in the building. There's a new building that the executive director, Faye Washington, got the millions of dollars to get built. Wow. Okay. And there's uh, full facilities for the uh, young people, 16, 24, live there. They have full medical dental care wow. there. They have only food that's cooked fresh, nothing out of cans. Great. It's that kind of facility. And then they go straight into the, uh, in fact, some of the students help to, with the construction as part of learning oh, from the mentors. Oh, I see. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I didn't have any idea about the senior citizen um, things that they do with senior citizens are mm -hmm. the fact that they had child care from little tiny toddlers to after school programs. Oh, this facility sounds great. Yes. So so I ended up creating a Y mm -hmm. in the center and then filling it up with all those different things that they do. Oh wonderful. Yeah. Oh I look forward to seeing it. Yeah, I can I can show it to you. No one okay. won't be able to see it till it's unveiled. Right. But, but yeah. I'm I'm an, as usual I'm ahead of myself, but I'm a little more ahead of myself than usual. It's supposed to be unveiled for Women's mm -hmm. History Month the first Sunday. Oh, and so that's March twenty fourteen. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Great. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we'll do the same thing. We'll have limited edition prints and other merchandise to keep building money for them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. Now, is there uh, anything? Oh, I know what I wanted to ask you. So what do you think of Nashville? Well, this is my, we tried to figure it out yesterday. I think this is my fifth visit. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Um, the first time I flew in to go to Middle Tennessee State University, yes. right right after the stamp, mm -hmm. and oh. had a program with the children about the stamp. Oh, wonderful. About four 
or five different elementary schools chose their top scholars, and they all came. We had a luncheon. Oh, wow. Uh, then I came here for Tennessee uh, librarians. Mm -hmm. uh, their conference, they had me come to be a speaker. I did something with, was it Woodcuts? Yes. I yes. did something Which with two, blo two doors away. Yeah, mm -hmm. Woodcuts. Uh, then I was here for Fisk. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm I'm, I'm making the rounds. I see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so um, yeah, it's been good. 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 All right. Yeah. Well, we're glad to have you here in Nashville, and uh, look forward to uh, seeing your exhibit. And um, thank you very much for coming. And thank you. Thank you. Uh, this is Sandra Long Weaver. I'm the editorial director for the Tennessee Tribune. Thank you for joining us today. Mm -hmm.